So I saw this report the other day from CareerCast, and it's a company that is ranking a whole bunch of different professions. I think 200 of them here. Yeah. Jobs rated report 2017 ranking 200 jobs. And I kind of wanted to show you just a little bit of it. And let's see whether it requires any mathematical skills in these top eight jobs. Okay. So what do we have here? Number one is <laughs> statistics. <laughs> oh, that's horrifying. I thought it was going to be linear algebra was going to be number one. How is it statistics? But they are claiming statistics is the best job. And they got these different different sort of metrics for it, right? Yeah, you've got your salary, but you've also got the idea of like, is there going to be a lot of growth in the industry? Like, are you going to be able to get a job? And like, how stressful is it? And how effective and good is the work environment? So they're saying this is really low stress, a very good work environment, good projected growth, and a decent salary. So that's statistics number one. All right, what else do we have? Medical services manager probably needs a bunch of good quantitative reasoning to do that job well. Operations research analyst, for sure. Information security analyst. Data scientist, right? All these different jobs that just require our quantitative reasoning skills to be very, very good. What else do we have? University professor, number six. Booyah, all right. I've... What the heck is this, though? Work environment number one? Six out of 99 for low stress? How is this a good work environment? I work a billion hours a week. Do you guys see this? Look how gray you're making me. How is this low stress? This is complete nonsense. At least, at least it seems to be that, that other people than me are, are getting a good wage here. What else do we have? <laughs> Why did I go to be a professor? 111,000. I've made a horrible mistake. This is completely ridiculous. What else do we have on the list? Software engineer also requires actually a good amount of linear algebra to be a software engineer uh, as well. So anyways, I just wanted to show you those. I thought it was kind of interesting. A, a, lot of, a lot of good jobs in this economy just require a lot of good mathematical thinking, a little good sort of quantitative reasoning. And even if it's not like the exact thing that you get taught in a particular math course, that sort of builds up this body of skills that is pretty applicable in like quite a wide range of professions. And a lot of the like really good professions are going to be requiring these skills. Of course, I, well, it's important to have like this eye to the future and like where your career is going. It also doesn't matter if you haven't figured out all of those things just yet. And, and for instance, in, in this class, some of the things that I try to do a lot of is to intrinsically motivate the material, right? Like one way to motivate you to work on the course is sort of kind of like, you're gonna get this grade. If you want a good grade, you have to work hard on it. And then if you get a bunch of good grades, you can go on and get good jobs in the future. But that's sort of like an extrinsic motivation. It's not the most exciting thing in the world. Whereas I really like intrinsic motivation, which says intrinsic motivation, which is like, the material itself has some level of interest to it and that you can see some of the excitement of trying to solve a problem and see some of the beauty of the relationships between them. And so that's just part of what I try to show. And I, I think it's just a good thing to have in your mind as you, as you go through the world and you try to be conscientious students who are like working hard and trying to be good and, and go on a good path is to try to have those like external motivators, like that you're trying to go on and succeed in a career, but also to have those internal motivators that, that right now and, and what you're doing right now that you can find an enjoyment and a passion in that as well. So there's my unsolicited advice for the day. I hope you enjoyed.